Here's how Steam Hammer can go wrong. Let's look at the setup and expectation first. If you take a bottle of some kind and heat up the water, this one just came out of the microwave. Then flip that into water, we see the water gradually fill it up. If we put a little tube in the bottle, it visually is a bit more interesting. Check that out. I just love that. We'll see why that happens in just a second. That's what I expected to happen with this steam hammer experiment. I lit the Bunsen, which I have to say I really enjoy doing every time. Notice I had a pretty significant flame. I'm wondering if that was part of the issue that came up. We'll see. I put a little water in a flask and heated it up. Now, this flask has fairly thin walls. I've used this flask quite a few times with this experiment and never had issues, but the thin walls may also have contributed. When you heat the water, the air in the flask gets replaced by hot steam. Even though the flame is raging, the water won't get over 100 degrees Celsius. All that happens is we have more rapid conversion from liquid to gas. After it boils for a while, the interior is almost 100% steam and no air molecules. I wanted to flip it while holding it, so I heated it for a bonus second. Now you flip it over into a beaker of water, and the steam starts condensing into liquid water. This one starts off pretty slow, kind of like the soda bottle without the plastic tube. But then this happened. This is a great time to point out you always need to wear safety goggles in the lab because you get pretty big surprises sometimes. If we slow that down, let's see when the glass shatters and what happens right before. We can see water start to enter as the steam condenses. Steam condenses fastest on the cool water entering. The rate of hot steam condensing increases as the surface area of water entering increases. The extreme low pressure likely causes the vapor pressure of the water to exceed the atmospheric pressure, so we get a rapid phase shift to gas and the water starts to boil. Apparently, the low temp boiling water and water rushing in create more pressure than the glass can withstand, and we start to see what happens safely inside the flask start happening outside the flask as the glass shatters. What else could have led to the glass shattering? Let me know. Just remember to always wear your safety glasses. Check out this experiment here.